This morning starts with one of the toughest climbs of the trip at Hyder's Gap, then down through Damascus where we cross the Appalachian Trail and ascend to 3,750 feet before arriving in Troutdale with our quads burning. Google Street View indicates that we won't have any shoulders to ride on today, but hopefully we're so remote that the traffic will be light. I'm looking forward to green, green, green all around me today. Everything looks so lush in this part of Virginia. Good morning, it's Sunday, July 14, day 6-0. And we are departing Rosedale, Virginia, on route for Troutdale, Virginia. And a dark morning. I actually didn't turn on the camera earlier because it was just a bit too dark. There's no moon in the sky. I don't know if that's because it's a new moon or if it's just not, um, uh, or if it's hidden uh, around here. So, got my lights on and looking forward to today's ride. I said I was looking forward to today's ride. And that's true probably for the first four hours. The first four hours of today's ride, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It won't be too hot. I'll have energy. It's the, it's the hours after the first four hours that I'm not really looking forward to. It's gonna be hot. I'm gonna be ready to stop. So, if you want honesty, there's, there's honesty. I'm starting the first major climb of the day, and the house I just passed, could you not, had a sign in the front yard that said, I'd turn back if I were you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna heed that advice. Turn around and return to San Francisco. Also, I've been following a, a little fawn for a quarter mile. It has stayed on the road, just keeps trotting up. Tried to get a video of it, but a bit too dark and far away. All right, that was some 14 and a half percent grade at 6.05 a.m. I haven't had time to get warmed up. 6.12 a.m. and I already need my washcloth to mop the sweat off my face. Just 100 feet to the crest of the first big hill today. Six miles was slow. <laughs> An average speed of 6.7 miles per hour. Ugh, that was tough. Nature's air conditioning is a descent from a climb early in the morning. This feels heavenly. It's like, it's like stepping it's like stepping into the freezer section at Costco um, on a hot day in, in Phoenix, Arizona. This is nice. And what we just climbed there was Hyder's Gap, spelled haters, but pronounced Hyder's. So that's behind us now. This would be a great forest to be in in the middle of the day. So much uh, leaf and tree cover ahead. But I'm here in the morning not really reaping the benefits of it. There was a waterfall on the map, so we stopped to check it out. Yeah, they call this the Niagara Falls of Virginia. Pretty scary. In case you were wondering, these were the Falls of Logan Creek. Over the years, many people have attempted to go down the Falls of Logan Creek in a barrel. Nobody survived yet. It's just too dangerous, too treacherous, too tall too steep.
Meadowview, Virginia has a population of 861 and was once home to Barbara Kingsolver, the author of the Poisonwood Bible. She also spent a significant chunk of her life in my current hometown of Tucson, Arizona, and earned a degree from the University of Arizona. Go Wildcats! Just past a cemetery, what's well, on my right, I'm passing the cemetery, and they're aggressively, aggressively advertising ground spaces. $595. Signs all over the place. <laughs> kind of a distraction to the cemetery, which is quite beautiful. But I've never seen, actually I have no idea how much cemetery plots are. There you go, I have one data point now. $595 west of Damascus, Virginia. Not Damascus, Syria. I don't know how much they go for there. They could film a Jurassic Park movie here. And you'd think it was still on the island of Kauai or wherever they filmed the earlier ones. You know, all the trees and thick vegetation here in the eastern part of the United States is a blessing and a curse with respect to the scenery. It's a blessing because yeah, it's green and beautiful. It offers shade, um, but it, uh, it blocks so much of the view. We're riding next to a beautiful river. The problem is I'm only catching, you know, occasional glimpses of it because just the tree cover, even in the 20 feet between the road and the river is is so thick with vegetation, not able to see it too much. We are riding against the flow of the river, and you know what that means. Climb, climb, climb. I took a short detour over to Syria to visit Damascus. Oh, correction, that, my bad. That's Damascus, Virginia. It's easy to get the two confused. The one in Syria has a population of 2.5 million. The one in Virginia is slightly lower at 775 residents. Back in California, I crossed the Pacific Crest Trail, and here in Damascus, I crossed the Appalachian Trail. My friend Ethan, who I interviewed on this channel, hiked its entirety with his wife. 3,000 attempts are made each year and only 25% succeed. I'm so proud of Ethan and Jamie for being in that 25%. I've made it to the Appalachian Trail, so I thought I'd, I'd hike, you know, 0.1 miles of it. <laughs> so I can earn some, some hiker cred. Look at this. Look at this beautiful bridge. Oh, man. The Appalachian Trail, Ethan and Jamie, my college friends, did the entire thing. A lot of people who start that quit it, but not Ethan and Jamie. So proud of them. So they, they hiked that stretch. Ethan and Jamie, if you're watching this, do you remember? Do you remember that bridge? Do you remember this crossing of whatever road I'm on? 80 or something? All right. Well, that was fun. A little off-bike experience. That road that crossed the Appalachian Trail was 58. Virginia Highway 58. Not 80. We were on 80 all day yesterday. I'm having a fine time, going maybe 20 miles per hour downhill, singing some songs, and some bug just flew stinger first, full speed, into the center of my right nipple. I kid you not. Wow. Right there. It was like a target. Boom, right in the nipple. Ow. Ow. Whoa. There's another amazing log cabin church. Beautiful. 
Behind me is the Connor Rock store, just uh, just maybe 0.1 or 0.2 miles off route, but it's the last stop we could make before Troutdale. And friendly people in there, and uh, they had a, a menu, so I got myself a, a freshly made BLT. It was excellent. And for those of you watching this in the distant future, yesterday was the uh, the assassination attempt of Donald Trump, where he got a bullet in the ear. And so um, they were filling us in on some more of the details there in the store of rumors and things they've heard, but I guess there's still a lot that's unknown or not being released to the public yet. So that's, uh, that's what's going on in America right now and, and the talk around town in Conorock, Virginia. I finished by saying that's the talk around town in Conorock, Virginia. That's, I guess that's really the talk around town in perhaps the entire world right now. But they did have a Let's Go Brandon sticker on their cash register, so there might be some bias on, uh, on the information that they were sharing. Uh, the guy there said, "Did you guys? Did you guys hear the news?" <laughs> I said, "Well, we're not that removed from society yet." So I did. Yes, I did hear about this. I went by too fast to get a picture. The last church VBS theme was "Heaven is for Kids." Heaven is for kids. That's kind of kind of grim. I'm on the final climb of the day. It is 1.5 miles to the top of this hill or mountain and then a six mile descent from there into Troutdale. We can do this. Climb number three, which I'm almost finished with, gave me no trouble. We did not see grades I think above 8% so this one was a piece of cake compared to a lot of the ones we've been seeing over the past four or five days and it's descent time all right day's almost done canopy of trees keeping me cool even at 12 30 p.m. ah this is nice Troutdale is quite the progressive place, having elected the first female mayor in Virginia back in 1930. We were climbing the hill to the Troutdale Church, and across the street, a woman yelled, Hey, come on down here and join us for lunch! Ha ha! So we're going for lunch. We are in Troutdale, Virginia, and the church is down there. We were invited for potluck lunch, but the hostel is... Over here, up the hill. I'll give you a tour. Not much to it. We have water in a clothesline and a porta potty to the left. And then each of these bunkhouse rooms have a set of bunk beds, or two sets of bunk beds. They could sleep four people on the beds. Just the bunk beds, we need to supply our own mats. And yeah. And there is a shower in a separate building down the way. Good afternoon, the daily recap this afternoon comes from outside the bunkhouse in Troutdale, Virginia. Today's scenery, I would give a seven out of 10. Beautiful rolling hills and tree coverage. And then we'd get out of the trees into these beautiful vistas where we can see mountains in the distance. Really enjoyed the scenery on today's ride. Difficulty. I would give that a 6 out of 10. A little easier than yesterday. Still some challenging climbing, especially at the beginning. And my overall feeling of positivity is sitting at an 8.